Hey guys, welcome back to Discovering Wilderness. We're uh, on our way out to a backpacking trip, uh, our first one of the year, and, and also ever. Um, together. <laughs> together. We're heading out into the Gifford Pinchot National Forest on the Big Lava Bed Lake Trail, something like that. There's no lake, but yes. Close enough. Uh, it's, I think, on the PCT the whole way, or next to the PCT or something like that, so pretty excited about that. Um, we're heading out really late today. It's already afternoon, um, almost 1230, but we should get out there and get on the trail at least by like two, hopefully. And um, it's about a six mile hike to where we're going to be camping tonight. So that's why it's okay to start so late. Uh, so let's get on the road and get out there. the trailhead uh, we had a bunch of rain on the way but I think it might be done it's a little bit cloudy now but that's about it so uh, got our rain jackets on because it's a little bit cold and the trees are all still dripping but we're about to head on the trail now and actually this is the PCT right here so hopefully we'll be on that the whole time that'd be pretty cool let's go Well, we've been on the trail for a little over a mile now, um, and wouldn't you know it, pretty much as soon as we started, it pretty much downpoured on us for a good 20-30 minutes, um, hence the pack covers and everything. Looks beautiful. So, it's kind of calmed down now, it's just really foggy and... Beautiful. Eh, very beautiful, but foggy and it looks like it's about to rain at any moment, so we're just hiking along, trying to stay dry and have fun. That's a big slug. We're a little over four, four and a half miles in now, and it has just been raining nonstop all day. Uh, it's even now it's kind of misting, you know, sprinkling a little bit, but just nonstop. I'm kind of soaked through, but I can't tell at this point if it's sweat or rain. But it's just wet, a little bit cold, but uh, still nice out. You can see all the fog behind us. It looks awesome. I feel like I'm walking through like a dream. It's really <laughs> cool. Uh, we're probably going to be stopping in the next hour or so. We're trying to get to around six, six and a half miles today before we stop for dinner. Try and find a campsite and then go back and do the same thing tomorrow. But the other direction. Well, we're heading back the way we came a little bit now. We got out about 6.15 miles uh, total. And it's starting to get dark. I think sunset's going to be in like less than an hour. And looking at the map, it looks like it's going to stay just really steep. Um, you can see it just goes down up there and straight up over there. Nowhere for a campsite anywhere near here. And it looks like at least the next mile is going to be like that. Um, and then there might be a campsite and then it's more ravines like this again. So we didn't really want to risk going another mile, uh, not finding a campsite and having to backtrack at least two, maybe three more miles, which would put us at like a 10 mile day. And the sun would definitely be down by then. Um, and because we're so out of shape, 
we're just turning around now and trying to find a spot. So it's been a really great day, uh, even with all the rain, but I haven't been able to film so much. So hopefully tomorrow is a little bit nicer. So it turns out my GPS actually marks campsites and I just happened to look at it and saw one like a hundred feet away. There we go. Just in time. Got the tent set up, getting ready to get some dinner now. Right as the light is fading, so pretty good. All right, so for dinner tonight, we have um, this chicken and mashed potatoes, freeze dried. It's really interesting. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's two just chicken breasts that have grill marks on it that's freeze dried. So we're gonna rehydrate those, and then there's some powdered mashed potatoes. We take the chicken out, and then rehydrate the mashed potatoes with the meat that rehyd I mean the water that rehydrated the meat. All right, after a very long day, we're finally ready for bed. Uh, got the tent set up, got dinner, got everything set up inside here, and I'm gonna pass out so fast. It is fantastic out here. It was so peaceful and just calm. We saw two other people, um, through hikers most likely, and they're friendly. They look still good, in shape. <laughs> So, great day. Yep, so, I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, hopefully a bear doesn't eat all our food. And uh, we'll check back in then. Good night. So this is just such a cool area. With all this fog and everything. What an awesome way to wake up. Look at that. All right, and good morning, everybody. Uh, still wet, a little bit rainy, very foggy, and kind of cold. And awesome. But we survived the night. Uh, pr plenty warm in our tent and everything. Um, now we're getting ready to head up. We'll get our food bag and see if any animals have destroyed it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Yay! Our food has survived the night as well. And it uh, didn't even really move. Got oh, it! Jessica's trying to destroy it now. So we just kind of threw the line over that branch. You can't really see it. And then it comes down and it's tied off to this log in a beautiful knot. All right, so now we're gonna take down the tent and we're so good at it, it's gonna be done just like that. So, the tent's all gone, let's get some breakfast. So, breakfast today, oatmeal and a Pop-Tart. Using a cozy. Well, so far today has been a lot nicer. Um, the sun's out, as you can see, which makes things awesome to hike in. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Um, so all our soggy shoes and everything are, are drying out. Uh, it's just a beautiful day for hiking today. Uh, we've been on the path for two miles, maybe. Only about three more, I think, until we get back to the car, um, which is actually a little bit sad, but our legs are killing us right now. So it'll be nice to get a break and get to sit down and ease our way into hiking again. Um, so out here, it's so cool to see all these different color leaves and stuff. Um, to see the lava flows. That's what all the rocks were and stuff that you saw from yesterday. And we'll, we should be getting back to them pretty soon. Um, it's really cool to just be walking through these old lava flows like that and just see volcanic destruction from a long time ago. So it's really interesting. So uh, it's just a, a beautiful day. I can't I can't stress that enough. Just seeing all this sunshine after yesterday is, is amazing. So 
So here's some of these rocks that are all the volcanic stuff. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. But down there's some like air pockets and mini tunnels and stuff from all the lava flowing and then air pockets forming and then more lava flowing on top of that. So it's pretty cool. We're gonna get to see a lot more of that for the rest of the hike. And now we're hiking back through the tree graveyard over here. There are so many downed trees, it's ridiculous. Look at that. All right, there's the uh, the bathrooms there, you got the trailhead. And through the woods there, you can kind of see some cars. So we are very excited to finally be back and go sit down. All right guys, it's been a great weekend. Um, just doing a one night backpacking trip. It was so much fun, great to get outside. Yeah, one night may sound really short, but honestly, sometimes that's all you have and it feels still really freeing to just unplug a little while and go explore and get some time out in nature. So I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching guys. Thanks for following along with us. Uh, go, and hit, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe so you can see us on more adventures coming up. And uh, we hope to see you guys next time as we get outside and do some more exploring. Just... <laughs>